everybody, JC here from Toy News International. And today I'm doing a new T&I toy hunt video. It's been a while since I've done one. It's really been a while since I've been out looking and seeing what's on shelves. So I figured today was a good day. The weather's nice, the sun's out, and hopefully we'll find some good stuff. I'm hoping maybe to find a Toys R Us, the new Wonder Woman exclusive movie figure, the DC Multiverse one from Mattel. Maybe some new Marvel Legends. Again, I, I really don't know what to expect. The stores around here often aren't stocked very well, but it's since it's been so long since I've been out, I'm hoping to at least find something good. So I'm gonna hit up my local Toys R Us, Target, and Walmart stores. My first stop is Toys R Us, and we'll be there in just a minute. Okay, so we're here at Toys R Us, heading inside to see what they have. So for Marvel Legends, they've got the Titus Build-A-Figure Wave, but not much else is new. Stuff that's been on the shelves for months, on clearance. They do have the 12-inch Deadpool figure. That's really the only new thing for Marvel Legends that they have. Star Wars, not much in the way of Black Series. No 40th Anniversary. Power Rangers, just the movie stuff. I don't think the movie helped this stuff move very well. DC Multiverse, they do have the Wonder Woman figures, the four basic ones, but no sign of the Toys R Us exclusives. They do have 12 inch Wonder Woman, but nothing much else that we haven't seen before. NECA, they have the Muhammad Ali versus Superman, New Predator, Halo from Mattel, some Walking Dead from McFarlane, Spawn from McFarlane. Diamond Select stuff. Again, not really anything terribly new here. More NECA stuff. Some Diamond Select Mini Mates. Aliens vs. Predator figure. New Terminator T-800 3D figure. I reviewed that the other day. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, nothing really new here. Still have some movie stuff on shelves. And then up front for Star Wars, they do have the 40th anniversary and some diecast figures. They have broadside for Transformers and then some Transformer movie stuff. also have some Spider-Man Homecoming stuff, just the stuff for the kids, no Marvel Legends or anything. Okay, so Toys R Us was pretty much a bust. They had no new Marvel Legends. The newest Marvel Legends they had was the Titus Build-A-Figure wave and only a few of those, but I have that wave, so wasn't looking for that. They did have some Spider-Man Homecoming stuff, the stuff for the younger kids. No Marvel Legends, though. They had Star Wars for the 40th anniversary. They had that Darth Vader set, which I've yet to pick up. Uh, I just haven't really been able to convince myself that it's worth spending the $40 for. I've already got a Black Series Darth Vader, and I know this new one is better and all, but I just, like I said, having to pay 40 bucks for it, I don't really care about the display base, so I just haven't been able to convince myself to, to pick that one up yet. The Wonder Woman figures, they had the regular released ones, the four, but they didn't have either of the exclusive versions, so that was kind of disappointing. And then they had a few Transformers that I hadn't seen on shelves, uh, some movie stuff, and then the broadside, which I passed on. Uh, uh, I'm not really looking to pick those up, but I hadn't seen those on shelves yet. Again, mainly because I just haven't been out looking in a couple months. But now I'm heading on to Target and Walmart, hoping maybe Target will have some Marvel Legends. Walmart, my Walmart's always terrible, so I'm really not expecting much from that. But definitely maybe Walmart or maybe Target will have something. I don't know. We'll see. So next stop is Target. Okay, so we're at Target. Let's head inside and see what they've got. So for Marvel Legends, they've got the 3.75 inch Homecoming 2 pack. Both of them, the comic book version with Shocker and Spider-Man and the movie version. Not much else for Marvel Legends. Some older X-Men, Spider-Man, Guardians of the Galaxy. Nothing new, the animated series figures, Wonder Woman, they just got two Wonder Woman figures and a 12 inch Wonder Woman. They do have the new Power Rangers Legacy 6 inch figure, but that's it. Not much else new, just movie stuff. 
Deadpool. They do have the 12 inch Deadpool. They do have the Legacy Vader and Han Solo die cast. So Target was primarily a bust. I did manage to pick up this uh, four inch set of Spider-Man Homecoming figures with the Vulture and Spider-Man. They had the other set with the comic book versions of Spider-Man and Shocker, but I went on and passed on those, but got this one. They're about $20 each. And this is pretty much it for, you know, this scale of figure that Hasbro's putting out. They're, you know, basically just doing these two inch or these two packs now, as opposed to single carded figures. I think we'll still see that wave with the Captain America figure in it, but that's the last single carded wave I believe that's going to be coming for this line, at least anytime soon. So now I'm going to head over to Walmart and see if they have anything good. Okay, so we're here at Walmart, final stop of the day. Let's hope they have something good. Same Transformer stuff we saw at the other stores, animated stuff. couple movie items not a whole lot though some Avengers animated series stuff first time I've seen the Hulk older Marvel Legends Titus build a figure wave not much else nothing really for Star Wars very disappointing no 40th anniversary some kids stuff for Spider-Man Homecoming and more Power Rangers movie stuff Again, this stuff is just sitting on shelves it looks like Nothing really for multiverse. Very disappointing. And some Wonder Woman, some 12 inch Wonder Woman, Barbie type stuff. And then Const Zuvio on discount. They have like a ton of them. Okay, so that's it. Not a whole lot at Walmart. Not surprised that Walmart's terrible. They never stock anything. Was maybe expecting to see that Marvel Legend 2-pack, but of course not. They really didn't have much of anything. So just really uh, terrible as usual there at Walmart. And honestly, didn't find a whole lot new, period. Was pretty disappointed. Did pick up that Marvel Legends Spider-Man Homecoming 2-pack, which I'll try and review probably tomorrow, but otherwise really didn't find anything good. No new Marvel Legends beyond the Titus Build-A-Figure wave, which honestly I don't really even consider to be new Marvel Legends anymore. And no Wonder Woman figure, uh, just saw the four basic ones at, at most of the stores, but, but none of the exclusive ones unfortunately. So that wraps it up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Plus, let me know what you thought about the toy hunt video. Have you found anything good in stores recently? Let me know in the comments section below. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I'll have links to those in the video description below. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later.